Large language models cannot access proprietary documents by default. The procedure by which proprietary documents are linked to an LLM is called Retrieval Augmented Generation. An LLM with Retrieval Augmented Generation is a very powerful tool, but many details need to be considered. Recently, I had to develop a Retrieval Augmented Generation system to allow car salespeople to chat in natural language with manufacturers' technical specifications PDFs. Along the way, I learned a few things I want to share. 1. Discounting ChatGPT while ChatGPT allows uploading proprietary documents via file search and referencing them in the chat, company privacy policies could be compromised. Furthermore, when you want to use the API for more flexibility and seamless integration, token consumption makes it directly impractical. It's common for a single query to consume, for example, 20,000 tokens. 2. Retrieval augmented generation examples are cherry-picking. There are many tutorials using Python, but their application proves impractical. These examples, integrated into a few lines of script, lack vector database update management, fail to successfully interpret tables and design elements from PDFs, and don't offer the possibility of selecting the specific topic or document you want to query. They also often don't reference the retrieved chunks, making proper debugging difficult if the vector search doesn't yield the expected results. Details are unavoidable. Which vector database will you trust? Which model will be used for embedding? Which model will be used for the chat? What chunk size? What overlap? What context length? What similarity search technique? And what pre-filtering? All these details will influence the success of the retrieval augmented generation, both in terms of accuracy and performance. Maybe this is just too much responsibility for vibe coding?